It is about 97 degrees today. And look, if you can see all these beautiful grapes behind me, that's right. This is episode one of DJ Wayne Adventures Wine Adventure. And you know, we decided that we were gonna mix two things that we love dearly into one video adventure. So today we are at Childress Vineyards right outside of Lexington, North Carolina, Richard Childress, NASCAR owner. That's where we're at. We're getting ready to go inside to the vineyards up there. We're gonna take a tour. We're gonna sample some wine. Oh. Now these beautiful grapes that you see right here are going to be used for Cabernet Sauvignon, established 2004. Look how beautiful of a day it is for these grapes. And for us to be out here, we love wine, we love sampling wine, we love doing wine tours. And when we started these adventure videos, I said that one thing I wanted to make sure we do is visit different wineries, different vineyards, and sample their wines. And what better way to start than right here at Childress Vineyards. Cabernet Sauvignon, Vineyard Crossing, Clone 32 and 191, Rootstock 101 to 14. How cool. Yummy. Then right across the street from that Cabernet Sauvignon, they're getting ready to start planting these. Future home, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Pinot Noir. But there is our destination today. So we're going to go get in our ride. We're going to go up and have a day. So this is a beautiful location, a beautiful vineyard. We've been here once before. And when we got here, we met Richard Childress and Austin Dillon. They were hanging out right over there, which was pretty cool. Today, we're gonna go inside, take a look around, maybe even eat at the bistro, don't know yet. But when we got in the car from the grapes to get up here, temperature read 98 degrees. Beautiful day in North Carolina. Well, we just got in here. They have tours for 25 and they've already got 27 booked. So they're overbooked. So I think we're gonna skip the tour for today, but that's okay. We're still gonna take a look around, see what we can find, get ourselves into. Private party going on. Baby shower, congratulations. But they do do wine tasting over here, so we're gonna go in here, roll up to the bar and taste a little wine. All right, so we may be able to get in for a Lux wine tasting. Try nine different wines. So we're gonna go to the terrace and see if we can actually get ourselves in. All right, there's what it looks like getting to our seat. So this whole room is set up just for the Lux tastings. And this is our table for today. So excited. And we get to take those glasses home with us. So we got ourselves a table. We've got our menu here. Uh, we get to try nine different wines. So typically what we like is we like the sweetest. So they just happens to be nine sweet and light wines. And that's what we're gonna go for today. So our first one is a classic rosé. I love the blush, picnic wine, party wine, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Right there. And, uh, very nice and lovely. We actually produce five different rosé. Okay. Five. 
I didn't have a show. Roselle Day. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice with some cheese. We tried a couple weeks ago. The chef Kenna made our beautiful strawberry and spinach salad with the goat cheese crostini. It was very nice and lovely. Please enjoy. Thank you. So this is our very first wine tour episode. This is our first wine tasting episode. So this is our first wine tasting. And this is the Sweet Rosé. Are you ready? All right, cheers. Let's drink up. Pretty good. Okay, so on our very first one, the Sweet Rosé, DJ Faith gives it a three, one out of five stars. You do, you do taste a little bit of the, the acid in it, but it is good, it is sweet. Yeah, I think I would give it about a three as well. We're off to a good start. What's next? I got a few interesting to have some goodies, uh, some snack, cheese, and we sell it right here, let us know, right in front. Okay, super. And this is the Cellar Select Riesling. Now, question for you. On that classic rosé blend, what was the percentage alcohol on that? Oh, they're all are very similar, you know, 12.2, 12. you know, 13 maximum. Yeah. Okay, super. Thank you. All right, so this is the Cellar Select. It's a white wine, 12.4%, but, you know, this is episode one. This is tour number one. This is our wine tasting number 1,200 but we didn't know. We're not supposed to ask about the alcohol content. Okay, so we won't. But you know what? This one's pretty good. So one to five, what would you say? Three. You give it a three, two, so I, I think I'm gonna go a step down. I'm gonna say 2.5. I like the other one a little bit better. It's not bad, but I think the other one's a little bit better. So, as we were talking, this one, this is the classic select Riesling, we think would go good with a banana bread or zucchini bread, something more, almost dessert wine, wouldn't you say? I think it would be something good like that, or not like, the other one would be good with a steak or a pork wine, this one not so much. Yeah, I think something with like cinnamon or ginger. <laughs> cinnamon or ginger, yep, I could see that. Sangria, fiesta time, party time. Everybody loves the design of this label. It is pretty. And we produce uh, white sangria or red sangria. And we consider this as a final product versus to some uh, business uh, do the house sangria. You're still uh, welcome to add some fruits. You can put peaches or pineapples for more fun. Beautiful wine for wine. Okay. So for summer or all year round to have a memory about summer. <laughs> <laughs> we do love sangria, so. Sun-kissed Sun white sangria. sangria. Lovely, lovely. This swirl and sweet. Peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. See there, so I have hit my first five star because I'm gonna give the sun-kissed white sangria five stars. This is the best one yet, and DJ Faith says it's gonna go good with the cobbler. Peach cobbler. It is delicious. Absolutely delicious. And again, it's the sun-kissed white sangria. There's nothing I don't like about this wine right here. I got to tell you, five stars, five and a half stars. What do you think? It's good. What would you give it? I give three fruit wines. Three fruit wines. Strawberry. Okay. Blackberry and peach one. And all of them are made from our uh, semi-sweet or white wine blend base and we added natural fruit nectar. The strawberry nectar, blackberry nectar, peach nectar. Mm -hmm. To enjoy the summer or to keep a memory about summer all year Yeah, it's long. a beautiful day, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, I definitely gave that sun-kissed white sangria a five and a half. That was delicious. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Oh, I didn't finish mine. Oh, she got to finish. It's very good. And now we are going to add some sparkling jewel, lovely bubbles. Okay. To add uh, to our strawberry wine. 
just a little bit or at home you can make your own proportion recipe and you get a strawberry mimosa wow very nice and this is called the jewel this is a jewel sparkling as a fact we produce seven different sparkly wines okay monday tuesday wednesday thursday <laughs> <laughs> i like the way you think absolutely so the sun-kissed strawberry was very good and then she added the jewel bottle to make a mimosa sparkling sparkling yeah with a little bubbly and a little bubble a little bubbly chris jericho but uh it's good it's actually good either way i liked it without the jewel but i really like it with the jewel that's really good but I don't think I'd give it a five star. I think I would give this one about a four. I don't think it's quite as good as that sangria, but I do like sangria, so. What would you give it? Probably a four. About a four as well. So we're on the same page, but it's very good nonetheless, that's for sure. This is the, mm -hmm. thank you. And this peachy, is the Sun Kissed sun peach. peach. Peachy, peachy. Please swirl and smell alluring aroma, like a fresh, summer peaches okay. lovely lovely and you can add fresh or frozen peaches inside uh, of the glass it does smell and good thank you. thank you it does smell so good and this is the sun-kissed peach very strong as dj faith said very strong smell of peaches but it smells so good mm. is it good it is very now good. she loves peaches me only the peach tea, that's my favorite. <laughs> There's a long story behind that part. Here we go. It's not bad though, not bad at all. That is very good for peaches. Mm -hmm. It is very smooth, yummy. All right, so talking with the wonderful young lady who is pouring our wine for us today, we asked a question with the sun-kissed peach and strawberry and blackberry. You don't have to wait any time if you wanted to add your own frozen peaches or cold peaches or blackberries or strawberries to your sun-kissed wine. You can add them in there, let them chill for just a little bit and drink them right away. Or like I said, you could have them frozen put them right in there and they're good to go. You don't have to wait any time. They don't need to marinate. They'll be ready to go. So the peach, we have to say was outstanding. We really like the peach. I still like the sangria, just a little bit better, but the peach was delicious. And I am not a peach person. All right. Blackberry, uh, blackberry, blackberry fruit wine. To enjoy the summer. <laughs> Well, thank you. Let's go ahead and do this one like we did the peach and give it a good sniff. It's not quite as strong as the peach, but you can definitely smell the blackberries. All right, here we go. This is the sun-kissed blackberry. Like I said, it smells good. It's not as strong of a smell as the peach. Ooh, it's pretty tart, but it's not that bad. It's it's pretty good. You can definitely taste the blackberries in that for sure. But that's good. That is good, and it's just a little chilled. It's not cold, cold like out of the fridge, but it's just a little bit chilled, and it's delicious. This is the sun-kissed blackberry. So the sun-kissed blackberry, I am gonna give straight up five stars. That's right there along with the sangria. It is absolutely, positively delicious. It really is, that was good. How'd you like it? I gave it four and a half. Four and a half, okay. Yeah, it's a little acidic, but other than that, it's really good. Super, four and a half, DJ Fade, DJ Wayne, five stars. That's my second favorite sangria in this one. Let's get down. The flavor of the south. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Lot of great varietals. Used to be wild. Now lots of units cultivate. Let's go to try our muscadine. Starting to get busy, huh? Oh, yeah. We love it. We love it. It's a beautiful day to be out here. Oh, absolutely. Gorgeous. Uh, the best view of the world.
That's right. As soon as we get done, we're going to grab a bottle and tour around. Thank you. All right, sweet muscadine. This is the first of three muscadines we're going to try. All right, this is our first of three muscadine wines, which are more local to the south here. Um, so this is going to be our my, my first taste. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'll leave my comments to myself, but it's, uh, I agree with you, what you said before we hit the play button, but it's not bad. I still like that uh, sun-kissed and uh, sangria better, but this is the first of three Muscadine wines. And then we get to crack open the chocolate after this, so that's gonna be exciting. So you know what, I decided this is episode one of our wine tours, our vineyard tours, our wine tastings that we're gonna do as part of our adventure videos. So I'm gonna be straight up and honest with you. This one here, this is our first Muscadine wine that we're tasting here at Childress Winery. And honestly, it's good, it's not bad, but we're so used to our Muscadine wines at Duplin Winery in Myrtle Beach in Rose Hill, North Carolina, which is a little bit better. Muscadine, Duplin, easy, smooth, cool, a little bit better. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't compare to Duplin Winery. Well, they're experts in Muscadine. They are, they are, they are. That's right. And again, don't get me wrong, we, we love, I love the sun-kissed uh, wines here. I love the sangria. I think you would agree those are delicious. But this one, Duplin's a little bit better. Okay, what is this one? Muscadine Red. The flavor of the salt. <laughs> Think about the flavor profile, think about baking spices, think about cinnamon and clove, think about holidays, Christmas in July. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas in July, that's the sale they got going on here today. Now this one we can taste our chocolate, yeah? Correct, you can have, yeah, sip, bite, sip, bite. Sip and bite, sip and bite, here we go. I've been waiting all day for this one. All right, so this is the muscadine sweet red that I need to sip. Now that's a lot better than the first one. I will say that is a lot better than the first one. And now bite some good old chocolate. Oh yeah, yeah, that's real good. All right, so sip again. Definitely, this is a lot better. Kudos, Childers Winery. Muscadine Red, it hits the spot. Chocolate, that's a nice touch too. All right, well we have almost come to the end of our wine tasting. We've had nine wines on our list. We are down to number eight, so we got one more. But we have decided that in the end, we're gonna celebrate and we're gonna do a chocolate shot as well. So we're, we don't know what that's all about, but we're gonna do it. But uh, we've had a wonderful time here. The, the ladies pouring our wine, she is absolutely amazing. She's wonderful, she's friendly, she knows her stuff. She's from Russia. She's been here 15 years working here at Childress Winery. So kudos and shout out to her. She's doing great, right? Yeah, she's from Moscow. Yeah, and she's real sweet, real nice. Everybody seems to like her around here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give her a five-star review, but it's it's almost sad that we're coming to the end here of our tour, but uh, we're not done here. As soon as we get done with this part, we're still gonna walk around, enjoy the beautiful landscaping and walk around the vineyards a little bit more and enjoy the day. It's, it's very relaxing atmosphere. Yeah, really so if you ever get a chance, Lexington, North Carolina, right off of I-85, not far off of I-40, Winston-Salem, Greensboro area on I-40, um, Childers Vineyards, Either whether you're a race fan or not, you need to try it out if you like wine. Don't miss out, stop by here. They've got food, they've got the bistro, they've got a nice gift shop. We'll go back in here in a few minutes. And the, the beautiful view that we're we're here out these windows is to die for. It is absolutely beautiful, very peaceful. We are not feeling rushed in our wine tour. We've been here, we've probably been here a little over an hour now. 
and we're in eight wines, so it's not rushed. It's nice and relaxing. So if you ever get a chance, Childress Winery and Childress Vineyards here right outside of Lexington, North Carolina. Check it out. Masca de Bures. Fruity, fizzy, and fun on the tongue. Uh, we add some carbonation. It has a hint of effervescence. Lovely, Muscadine lovely. burst. Everybody loves the design of the uh, bottle. Lovely wine. And sip and taste. Sip and taste Very with the good. chocolate. Yes, the chocolate. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Enjoy. And we do want to do the chocolate shot. Yep, yeah, before we end. So we'll end on a high. So I've already been warned. This is a fizzy wine. This has kind of got the carbonation in it. Uh, my beautiful wife, DJ Faith, is not a fan of the carbonation. So we're gonna tie, we're gonna try it, and we're gonna see. And remember, sip chocolate, sip chocolate, sip chocolate, and that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, you can definitely taste the carbonation in that. This is the muscadine burst, and it, it's not bad, but you can definitely taste the carbonation in it. Oh, wait a minute, I was supposed to sip and chocolate. It adds a good flavor to it, that's for sure. It's not bad, but I'm kind of like DJ Faith. I'm not too big on the carbonation, on the fizzy part of it. I'm wondering if it's a sweet red mixed with carbonation. I believe so, because the sweet red was good. Mm -hmm. And this is, like you said, it is the red. I bet so. So, Muscadine Burst, if I was you, I'd go with just a Muscadine Sweet Red. I think you'd be in better shape. I ate my chocolate, took another sip, still about the same. So if you're gonna do a Muscadine here at Childress, I would go with the Muscadine Sweet Red. That's my thought. I'd give this one about, honestly, about a three and a half out of five. All right, so after nine samplings of wine, I give the Classic Rosé Blend a three, Classic Select Riesling a 2.5. I gave the Sunkiss White Sangria five and a half. That was my favorite. Sunkiss Strawberry four, Sunkiss Blackberry a five, Sunkiss Peach a five, Muscadine Sweet White three. The Muscadine Sweet Red, I, I really liked it. I gave it about a four and a half. But the Muscadine Burst, I gave it a three. I like that Muscadine Sweet Red the best. I believe it's the Muscadine Sweet Red with a little bit of carbonation that makes the burst. So DJ Faith on her, she gave the Rosé Blend a three. The Select Riesling a uh, two. She really liked that White Sangria. She gave it a six. Sunkissed Strawberry with that Mimosa with the... Uh, with the Add the Jewel, she gave that a five. Her absolute favorite was the Sunkissed Peach. And then the Blackberry, she gave it uh, she gave it a five, but it was a little acidic for her. Muscadine White, she gave it a four. Sweet Red is great with the chocolate. She really liked that one. And she only gave the Muscadine Burst a two. So matching the two of them, I think we're probably going to take a bottle of the Sunkissed Peach. The Sunkissed Peach, we both agreed, is very good. It's very good chilled. So that's the one we're going to go. And, you know, on the back of these forms is the pricing where you could order. And surprisingly enough, the peach is a very reasonable $12.99 a bottle. Not bad at all. I think that's definitely what we're going to take home with us. And here, when you do the Lux tour, you get to take these beautiful glasses home with you as well as a souvenir. And we definitely have our wonderful, lovely collection of wine glasses. Okay, here comes our bonus. This is the chocolate shot. Chocolate shot. Starbound. Starbound. Beautiful dessert wine. A port style. It's fortified. Made from uh, blueberries and the brandy. Okay. The amount of the alcohol is 17.7. Oh, wow. High. Okay. And we're going to add this wine to the 
wonderful high quality natural chocolate cup and you drink wine and eat the uh, chocolate just don't eat the foil that's right <laughs> wonderful Enjoy. thank you so much check that out okay which one's mine which one's dj face well she is on the left so we're gonna give her the left one what do you think well she is getting ready to do her chocolate shot so she says what do you want me to do so i just kind of put the camera right in her face and say well take that shot you got to shoot it down you got to do a shot you got to drink it all in one and take a bite of that chocolate just don't eat the foil what do you think Good. Okay, DJ Wayne's getting ready to do that shot for that chocolate. Here we go. I just have to remember not to eat the foil. And don't eat the foil. So mine is so full, it's like dripping off the side. Bottoms up. Perfect. Beautiful. That's how we do it. So our wonderful Russian wine connoisseur her name was olga so if you ever get here she's been here 15 and a half years make sure you ask for her the lux wine tasting but this place is jam-packed full it's almost three o'clock and just look how packed this place is if you don't have a reservation at this point you're not getting in but there's just people from everywhere all walks of life just here, just having a good time, relaxing, enjoying the wine. And we did. We had a wonderful time. Let's go back in through the gift shop because I need to find a sticker for the truck. So right off the bat, we decided these are the two we're going to stick on the truck. She said they have more stickers throughout the store. So we might take a look around and see what else they may have. But their gift shop... They've got a little bit of everything. It is not all about wine in this gift shop. That is for sure. Plenty of drinking glasses, that's for sure. But this is a good time while we're walking around the gift shop. Please like this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, DJ Wayne Adventures here. Please ring that bell so you can be notified of when we release all of our adventure videos and travel adventures and nascar adventures we certainly do appreciate all those happy comments so please feel free to leave comments now this here when we first walked in this is the standard wine tasting this is basically ten dollars a person and you get like five or six wines here we did the Lux tasting we got the chocolate we got uh, nine different wine tastings we got to take our glasses home with us so got us some souvenirs on top of our stickers that's gonna go on the truck that's getting loaded down that truck just in case you guys were wondering 2014 Dodge Dakota pickup truck that was my late father's so we got it and we are gonna keep it running and we're just gonna load it down with fun stickers. Why not? That's how we roll. Thank you guys for watching this video here at Childers Vineyards today. Again, we are not done yet. We are still gonna walk around the property and enjoy the views on the outside. But thank you guys for watching. We really do appreciate it. Please leave happy comments and subscribe. I just brought our wine glasses and our wine bottle that we purchased the peach to the car. I checked the temperature. It is currently 101 degrees out here right now. That is not even including the heat index. That is what the actual temperature is right now. So it is a scorcher of a day, 101 degrees. And now we're going to walk around and tour the property, this beautiful property. Um, the tours were all booked up as far as the vineyard, so we're going to come back and do that another day. But we're still going to walk around the property. We're going to walk around the vineyard and see some of the different grapes like we did when we first got here. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go. It's a hot one.
clouds. But just look at the beautiful blue skies ahead. It is a beautiful day here, right outside of Lexington, North Carolina, Childers Vineyards. We're getting ready to make our way back up those steps in this hot, hot sun and take a tour around the property. My beautiful wife, DJ Faith over there, doing what she loves to do. She loves photography. She loves taking photos of all the scenery. And there's definitely a lot around here to take great photos of. Going through the beautiful entrance doors. Again, look how busy this place is right now. Three o'clock in the afternoon. So do like we do, get here a little early. There's the lobby bar. They've got pretty much anything you want. You can do bottled water, you can do chocolate, you can do slushies. And there's a tasting room right on the inside there. Looks like they got a little party going on. They do wine flights, red wine, mixed wine, sweet wines. You don't get as much as you do with the Lux wines. But everybody seems to enjoy it. Here's some award-winning wines right here. We took the elevator down to the lower level, and this is what we found. Not sure if we were supposed to take the elevator to the lower level, but we were actually on our way to get outside. But hey, that's how we roll, right? Let's take a look through here. Wow, check that out. That is really cool. And over on this side, even though it's a Saturday and nobody's working, we actually have the wine making section. I wish they were down here working, that'd be really cool. But we are making our way outside, but we saw this and said, hey, we need to grab this. Check out these barrels. That's awesome, you can feel it. It's still kind of damp, so these are like fresh. Up in Gatlinburg, at one of the wineries there, Sugarlands, you can actually buy an empty barrel and take home with you. That is really cool. We made our way outside after scaring an employee, a young lady getting in the elevator. One of her coworkers were telling her about a horror story of an elevator getting broke down between floors. And we said, yeah, we've, we saw that story. It was an old abandoned winery. Yeah, she's a little spooked. But we are out on the lower level. We got some live entertainment going on. There's the corner cantina right upstairs there is where we did our tasting. This is very nice. Well, that's how you do it right there. We got it's a Walt fan right here. Just blowing a nice cool breeze on DJ's face. We got some awesome guys over here playing for us. So those wrought iron chairs got a little bit hot. So we decided, well, we're just gonna keep on walking, but check this out. Look at these awesome, comfortable chairs right here overlooking the pond. I think that's where we're heading right now. It's hot, but you couldn't ask for a beautiful day. I tell you what, it is beautiful out here. All right, so we're coming up on these, and I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that. Do you wanna try? 
Monte Pulciano. That sounds right. And I said I wasn't going to try it. Established 2019. It is blazing hot. So we are going to do a quick run on the rest of this vineyard tour. We're going to get back in the truck. We're going to soak up. Boy, look at those delicious looking grapes right there. Soak up some AC. We're still going to ride around the vineyards, grab some beautiful photos and more videos. But it is absolutely blazing hot out here. So we definitely have our selection of good, healthy grapes over here. And then this heat, we got some dried out grapes over here that's not looking too awful hot. Raisins. Raisins, that's right. Childress raisins. I am guessing this is the bistro here. Bless these folks for braving dining outside. The dining room's not all that busy. We decided to dip inside the bistro because they got AC kicking and take a look around and check this old ride out. How cool is that? Let's take a look inside. Please do not touch. Don't worry. We're here for the air conditioning, not to touch the truck. So, as professional DJs, we walked into this room, and the first thing that come to our mind is this is a wedding venue. That's what this looks like. This looks like we should be setting up for a wedding tonight. But check out that beautiful fireplace over there, halfway in the room. But yeah, we should be setting up for a wedding in here. What do you think? Absolutely. Now, coming out of that room, we got more outdoor patio seating without live entertainment, but you definitely have the vineyards all around you here. And the clouds are actually creating a shade right now, which is very remarkably nice. Thank you, Mother Nature. Everybody's out here doing their selfies and portraits and celebrating whatever they may be celebrating this week. So here is the three o'clock vineyard tour. They're getting started. They're getting ready to get going. I was kind enough. I walked over to those young ladies there and I took a picture of all three of them together. But uh, yeah, all the tours today were booked up in advance before we came out. So we're gonna have to come back and do that another day. Definitely looks fun. Definitely looks interesting. I will put a link to the Childress Vineyards website so you guys can visit out here if you're ever in the area. Highly recommend it on a cooler day, perhaps. Just another quick shot of these beautiful, delicious grapes. I know the netting is to protect the grapes from the birds, but I can't lie. I want to reach like right there and just grab one and taste one fresh right off the vine. But look at the heat. I mean, you can t even tell in the leaves, the heat is definitely taking its toll on pretty much everything here. But if you look there in the background, because of this heat, we might have a pop-up thunderstorm coming this way. But that's all right, because our tour here at Childress Vineyards is pretty much coming to an end. Look at those delicious grapes right there. So as we return back to our car, these vines right here, Malbec, Malbec, Clone 4, Rootstock 101, 114, established 2004. As with most ends of the vineyards, the vines, you see these roses. Very beautiful. Roses all the way down. 
and beautiful grapes along the path. We are back inside of our truck. We got the AC kicking, but we made it back here to the back. You can see some of the vats there. And then right here is the loading dock. So this is kind of a little bit of behind the scene backstage of the Childers Vineyards here I wanted to share with you. As we're getting ready to roll up on out of here, again, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, ring that bell, because our next adventure is right around the corner. Thanks for watching. And we left just in the nick of time. Now we're thinking about barbecue. You're up in this area, you gotta think barbecue. Where should we go? Hang tight.